hello visionaries welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here welcome and today i'm going to react to to another franchise but a new season of the royal housewives of new jersey season 13 episode number one let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video all of my social medias, my website, my Patreon, my PO box are going to be listed down in the description. So make sure you check that out. And you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have been loving my content lately, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. And if you guys want to become a part of my YouTube membership family, just click the join button right next to my name underneath this video. Without further ado, you guys, let's get ready to react to episode number one. Girl, I have a problem. <laughs> I'd be having the longest nose hairs ever. I've never been in a relationship like this before. Oh, her and Paul are still going strong. That's good. But you know what? I'm very happy. I'm happy that she's happy. That's good. No, somebody said the other day she looks just like me. Who was it, Ray Charles? No. She. The kids got big. Damn. We getting old, y'all. Anybody who knows Melissa Gorga knows that 80s is my vibe. Look Mine's too. I love the 80s. I want to be able to be in a room with you and Paulie and our children and everybody feel comfortable. That will happen. That means you get your own place and you do your own thing and you get invited to the parties and dinners. That's it. Do you think that me and Paulie will be able to be close before you and Jennifer? Probably. Oh, God. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe this has something to do with negative energy. And you're just like an airhead. Oh, <laughs> well, she's not telling, she's not lying. So it's definitely coming from Why is she wearing heels? That don't make no sense. You're in your own house. Why do you think she called you out for not being a good friend? I actually don't know. She bad enough to be Honestly, I don't even know neither. I think you just know how to be a neutral friend and you see on all sides of the spectrum and you're not claiming to be on anyone's side and that's okay. Yeah, I don't want to leave anybody out, you know? You get left out. Melissa, no, you get left out. <laughs> she. That day, she showed how she really feels about both of us. Yeah, like I agree with I know, and that's why I Joe. just heard we haven't heard from you in two months. I don't think so. It's like, are you still doing this? You're 50 years old. I think that was an olive branch for Teresa but I don't think oh they're God, in that I mind space, and that's brother. okay, you know? Oh my, oh my God, I love it! But like, I know I don't look 50. <laughs> she looks good for 50, I ain't gonna lie. I Teresa, you look good. And I have to say, it's been really a dream. That's good, I'm happy she found love. And I'm happy she found the right love. You tried your brother, Teresa. That was, that was not right, period. Oh, girl, don't do that, Teresa. I don't ever want you guys to ever go through that. Oh, that will never happen with us. Beautiful. Don't ever say never. Like, that's what I want. That's what they said, too. Go to the roller ring, do a double session, and then meet my boyfriend after and have sex. Woo! Okay, story of my life. And they're just a really great couple for each other. Besides the age. Okay. Frank got himself a girlfriend. Oh, she's 33? Girl, that's young. Every single thing is my fault. It's like crazy shit. Oh, girl, that happened a long time ago, girl. This is the new season. Look at This is Teresa coming in as an olive branch because she showed up. That's good. He did speak to her. What is he supposed to do? He's entertaining so many people. This is a cute theme. I love this theme. Oh! Oh, she bit it. At least she said hello. There you go, Teresa. That was big for Teresa. At least she's working on herself. That's all you can. That, that, that's a great thing, Teresa. 
Working on yourself is the first thing. Uh oh. No, okay. She seems fun. Oh, girl, yes, she would. As a 90s baby? Oh my god, you're so young. <laughs> okay, Frank. <laughs> Right. People have to respect their dynamic. Teresa seems like she's being a big girl this episode. That is a good behavior. I'm impressed with Teresa. <laughs> she surely don't, bitch. Story of my life. <laughs> she told Jennifer, uh uh, come here, baby. <laughs> Ah, she's so passive aggressive. Can we all grab something? Can we all grab something? She has a broken arm. To get past this, she's gonna have to say some things that I don't even know she's capable of doing. She's not capable right now, I promise you. She's not. I'm gonna be shocked if she does. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> I am, I was your friend. No, you're not listening to Margaret. You're cutting her off, Teresa. But you're a grudge holder. You are a grudge holder. I'm not, not anymore. Well, because I'm working on myself. But that's all she can do is work on herself. Teresa, just text me. Do not say a word. Back up my boyfriend. But keep in mind, there has to be context before that happened. There's a reason why she did that. Like she's an insecure woman. She has to do something like that. Louis, you stay out of women's business, period. Do what Margaret's husband doing and just not do it, saying nothing, just listening. I'm being honest. I'm being raw as a cucumber. Oh, here we go with your isms. I think I'm really sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that. You never thought in 10 million years that's a She apologized. Wow. Okay. There you go. People don't change overnight. So let's make a That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Margaret, as long as she's changing, period. <laughs> Amen, story of my life. <laughs> Work out, girl. I know that's right. <laughs> the insecurities of it all. <laughs> yeah, Margaret, stop, stop being mean to him. I like him. Go on ahead. I can't. <laughs> the girls are directing. <laughs> I like her. She's fine. Okay, he's selling it. He's working it on out. Don't really want to be around her because by exiting my wife out of the wedding, it just kind of shows. You guys need to have a conversation though. Come on, you guys are gonna be together filming a lot. You guys have to have a conversation. This is Joe's moment. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> I love it. Go on ahead. Serve it to the kids, Joe. Serve it to the kids. <laughs> Joe looks good. What is a fluffer? A fluffer? That long stick with the feather on the end for your butt? No. Girl. A fluffer is, is my old job in 1982. She was upset about when she sent that text message, you know, back Louie up when we were at your short house. I was like, Oh my God! Why would you go and tell them that, though, Margaret? True.
<laughs> Dolores got a man. You got this, baby. Something is wrong with you. Let me take your temperature. <laughs> he better sell it. That's right. Jennifer, can you stop freaking complaining? Relax. Chill. I mean, you're married to somebody that cheated on you and you're literally chastising her for the same thing. Yes. Uh-oh, here we go. The conflict is starting. Oh, she's going to start crying now? Girl, what? What? <laughs> I'm Dolores. Girl, please. <laughs> yeah, I would be upset too if I was Dolores. <laughs> Melissa's like, <laughs> Nice social skills to look at you when you're. Girl, what? Oh. We're good. Oh Just leave it alone at that point. Leave it alone at that point. It's done. It's over. Oh. Oh, wowzers. The girls are angry. <laughs> she is upset. Wow. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction to The Real Housewives of New Jersey, season 13, episode number one. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. <sighs> it's already starting off quite spicy, and honestly, I don't even know for what reason. But at the end of the day, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. All of my social medias, my website, my Patreon, my PO box are going to be listed down in the description. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And like always, you guys, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, you guys. Bye.